I'm Rachel Lowe from Physiopedia. I am chatting to Barbara Rao today from the International Committee of the Red Cross. Hello, Barbara. Hi, Rachel. Good to hear you again. Um, nice to talk to you at the start of this course, the Wheelchair Service Provision course. Uh, we have been working on developing this course together, which is great for our annual free course. Um, perhaps you could, first of all, before we talk about anything else, just um, for people that haven't met you before, just tell people a little bit about yourself, who you are and what you do. And then perhaps you can talk about why we chose to do this course this year and the important things that people need to learn about wheelchairs. Yeah, good. So I'm an um, old uh, trained physiotherapist, as you can see, with the colors in wheelchair service provision. I used to be a long time ago the first wheelchair coordinator, so-called coordinator for motivation. That was a very, very nice experience uh, in Romania with motivation, where we've actually started to think about wheelchairs or motivation. It's uh, building the wheelchairs, but also giving the services around the wheelchairs. So that was a good, good memory of old times in Romania. And within the ICSC, you know, we are uh, working in low income uh, uh, resource countries, um, prone to conflict mostly. And what we often see is that wheelchair service provision is not a priority often. Uh, if it's a priority or if, if it exists, it's often not done properly. And uh, the ICSC is really interested, and thanks to Physiopedia, we have the, the chance to provide this free course for, for many physiotherapists or other health professionals. And uh, in general, like we did with the other courses, the aim of the course is not to train and to, to, to provide a, a very specific high level training. It's basically already just to give the information, the basic information to have good services or at least to provide the knowledge that people know uh, what are good services or sufficient services, quality services. So, um, we are, why wheelchairs? Because as I said, uh, what we see is sometimes not optimal. And I think the first uh, message we would like to give to everybody is that it's a professional service. It's a professional service uh, for people who are needing wheelchairs, not just because they broke their leg and uh, they need a temporary wheelchair for one or two days, but people who will need the wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. And actually, this service provision addresses all ICF, International Classification of Functioning, factors because it addresses the condition. Uh, each person has a specific condition and needs a specific wheelchair. So you cannot just give any wheelchair to any person. That's the first point. Then it addresses the social and the family situation. I mean, if you have a child with cerebral palsy or an elderly person, uh, the, the family around this person is different, so the wheelchair needs to be adapted to these needs too. Um, I remember um, the, the rehabilitation fund in Yemen, uh, the director of the fund was telling me, you know, our biggest problem is that people all want electrical wheelchairs, but we tell them, sorry, we are not going to give you electrical wheelchairs because we have <laughs> often power cuts, no electricity and no accessibility. And the third point is also that this service provision needs to uh, adapt to the environment. Uh, uh, Switzerland is not like Yemen, it's not like uh, Tanzania, etc. So this is a very important point. And we always talk about patient-centered care, physiotherapy, etc. And this is by excellence a patient-centered care because actually you serve the person it, with the aim, not just for the service, um, it's like doing physiotherapy, not just to improve a range of motion, but the goal and the key, the most important thing is that this person, thanks to this service, will be able to participate better into the social activities and her quality of life or his quality of life will improve. So um, I've, I've, yeah, I, I think actually, in summary, what I would like to say is that it's more wheelchair service provision is more than a donation of wheelchairs of products, and it's more than wheelchair skills uh, therapist uh, offers patients or, or service user or people with uh, mobility impairments. 
Thanks so much for giving us that summary for, for the start of this course. I think um, we cover all the information that you've just talked about. Um, we've developed some specific content for the course. We will be including some of the wheelchair training packages that have been developed by the WHO, the World Health Organization, but it's not simply just the wheelchair, tra wheelchair training packages, but we've, um, um, we've packed the course out with a lot more content that covers a lot of the things that you just talked about so I think it will be a really interesting course and, and definitely one for everybody to get involved in and and we would encourage everyone to get involved in the discussions as well there's a lot of people on the course there will be a lot of people on the course and um, there will be a lot of nice global conversations between colleagues all around the world so Thank you so much for the summary that you've given us. Um, thank you for collaborating on the development of this course. It's going to be a great course and I hope everyone enjoys it. Yeah, well, thank you, Rachel, again for your work and thanks for all the, the people who have contributed to the course. I think this course is a, will be a success also because we managed to bring all the specialists, I mean, most of the specialists around the world to talk about wheelchair services, not only what is an appropriate wheelchair, but also the importance of awareness. We need more advocacy towards right and comprehensive wheelchair services. And yeah, it's, um, it's going to be, I think, a, a very interesting course with the resources. And you will see that the more you dig into the course uh, content and participate to the um, discussions uh, which will be facilitated by experts the more you will want to be involved so i'm really looking forward to and maybe rachel i would like to say one last thing is that really um, what we care about is that of course you will gain knowledge but think especially about one person who is actually sitting in a wheelchair and uh, I remember one participant of another MOOC we facilitated who said, it changed my look towards this person. And I think this is what we hold because if we have 4,000 people who uh, look differently at the wheelchairs user they are serving, the one you see every time, maybe you can adapt one small thing, maybe you can advise a little bit differently and, uh, and I'm, I'm sure you will improve his life or her life. So let's hope, let's see. Yeah, it's a very good point, Barbara, and it's a very good uh, uh, point to, to leave people thinking about as they enter into this course. So thank you again for chatting today, and we'll see you in the course. Yeah, yeah, I will be facilitating. I hope to be, uh, I will be on the discussions. Bye, Rachel. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.